this week's vlog. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than normal. I know that the last video is kind of dragged on. I just like to shove as many clips as I can in a video. <laughs> Something I'm learning to kind of rain back on. I With this I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of YouTube uh, making videos I'm just using my iPhone having fun trying to maybe help some people out share some information if you don't agree with me that's okay so yeah this week's vlog is just gonna cover a little bit of my marathon training I'm very glad that I'm doing a training plan because I'm starting to find things out aka where do I chafe what outfit is going to be most comfortable what shoes, what socks to wear when you don't train before a marathon. Not a great idea. You will probably be very uncomfortable. Uh, your body won't recover well and you risk injury, um, stress fractures, plantar fasciitis, etc. when you're not putting in that, uh, in that training volume. So, just finished 8.45 miles in exactly 90 minutes or an hour and a half. 13 point six ish, six -ish kilometers. Day one of official marathon training has commenced. Watching David Blaine go up to space in some balloons or something's going on. Things that you need to work out before the actual day, aka, I needed one pee break and one wardrobe change. Yeah. Oh, shaky, shaky. Oh, shaky, shaky. Oh, Hi, Otto. Hey, Jean. Already joke? Good girl, Jelly. Good girl. So I am training for a marathon, my first marathon. If you would have told elementary school me that at 30 I would be running marathons, It takes time. It takes a lot of time to train for a marathon. Yes, of course, you can go out and run it with minimal to no training, but it's a risk that you take. You could severely, I mean, I've heard of people getting like stress fractures in their feet because it's 42 hour, 42 kilometers. That for me will probably end up being close to, if not more than five hours on my feet running. So it's a lot of uh, stress on your body. Running is a high stress sport. Uh, the impact is huge going through your body, to your feet, uh, through your knees, hips. This morning, so yesterday I did Sunday. No, oh my goodness. What day of the week is it? Hi, it's Saturday morning. Yesterday was Friday. I did my first real long run. I did 22.2 kilometers, so just over a half marathon. And again, this is why I train because I notice I get chafing right above my lats um, in my armpit. So I taped that this time. I wore better socks. I was wearing cotton socks. This time I wore nice, thin, moisture wicking, um, multi sport Canada endure socks. I got even more new chafing from this longer run. So just the jump from 16 kilometers, which was my last long run, up to 22. I'm getting new chafing again, playing around with different shorts. So I was actually planning on walking the rest of the way home again, just to get some more volume, some more kilometers on my feet. But my chafing got to the point where it was so bad that I actually called John to come and pick me up. And luckily he came. Thanks John. This is really what you learn in your training is how to make that 42 and a bit kilometers the most comfortable for you and to minimi minimize long-term injury because um, having to rehab something like plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, what's another common one? Again, stress fractures, like that's time off that I don't want to risk taking. So I'm going to put in my training. 
it does mean that I have a lot less spare time because again, these runs are taking me uh, from here on out, it'll be pretty much two and a half to five hour training runs. So yeah, I'll try and keep you filled in on my marathon training if you guys are interested. <laughs> Up, I'm gonna do a fun little segment where I do some of my treat training. We'll see where both the dogs are at in terms of their um, what tricks they can do, what commands they know, what commands they're still working on, and I hope you enjoy that too. Do one more thing. Look at Winnie being such a good girl. Look at Winnie being such a good little girl. I want a close up of you chewing because you are so freaking cute. Jelly's turn. And it's gone. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. If there's anything else you want me to do a vlog on, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do read them because obviously I don't have many. Um, and again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So <laughs> please be nice to me. <laughs> Thanks guys, have a great week.
high school she was the girl that made me do the hula hoop around the gym. In high school she was the girl that made me do the hula hoop around the gym.